39 happening today. You know, every day is some kind of national whatever day. Yeah, like a cookie day That's right. or whatever. Today's National Wine Day. Naturally. Isn't every day National Wine Day? <laughs> that depends, just I suppose, on your preferences. It would. Uh, so this is an industry that's growing very quickly, not just in California, you know, where a lot of the wine is produced around the U.S., but all across the country. 24 Hour Days 8's Joe Malillo is live at Hopwood Cellars. That's in Zionsville, a little downtown area this morning. Uh, take a look at the economic impact of the whole industry. Good morning. Yeah, imagine having a wine cellar right here in downtown Zionsville, you know, 10, 15 years ago. I don't think maybe that could have been possible, but you know what? It is, and we're here with the owner, Ron, and he's going to join us in, uh, this morning as we go over some of the numbers. But you opened up six years ago here in Zionsville, and how have you seen the industry change or grow? Well, it has grown, and I give a lot of uh, credit to uh, social media. Social media, we're able to, of course, you know, radio and TV and paper advertising is what we had 15, 20 years ago. Now we have the social media. We're able to hit, uh, especially the millennials, we're able to hit the people uh, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, information all the time. We're educating them all the time because of social media. And they're really excited about it. Millennials, in, in coming up in a couple hours, I'll tell you the study that came out about millennials. But check out these numbers real quick. You know, by... Uh, 2016 in April, there was $3.1 billion in sales in wine, and that's up 4% from last year at 2016. And then also April 2017, there were more than 9,000 wineries in the U.S. That's also up 4%. So it is growing tremendously, and uh, there's also an economic impact in terms of over a 12-month period, $40 billion in wine sales in the United States. Uh, you have some awards there as, as Marcus pans up a little bit. Uh, uh, you, you're you're very well known, I guess, here in in Zionsville, and uh, you keep winning awards. What's your most popular wine, Ron? Well, it depends on your category. Of course, uh, here in Zionsville, it's a bit of a dry red town, so we sell a lot of the Cabernet Sauvignon and a lot of the Cabernet Franc. But then we also have the best sweet wine ever. It's called Sweet Layla. So it depends on your category. There. He's been saying all morning, best wine in the world right here in Zionsville. And you know what? This is National Wine Day, and I can't wait to get Coming up next hour, we're going to give you a little bit of uh, tips on how to taste wine, some of the basic knowledge you need to know. Follow me on Facebook. We're going to go live in the back. Back of the cellar can't get the camera back there so we got to get the cell phone instead oh. and give it a look at how he produces the wines uh, but stay with us all, all all on daybreak this morning we're gonna have a lot for national wine day did you notice that Joe said it's five o'clock somewhere a little bit earlier it, it is. is five o'clock in the morning it's a.m. not necessarily p.m. the song does not specify so that is true, that yeah. is true. Yeah. thank you Joe, Joe Malone.